expertise. All right, well, fortunately, a lot of us have already started to cut back on using energy, but they're still asking us to conserve. And you know, when ERCOT issued that alert earlier today, it got a lot of folks in Texas really thinking back to those power outages during the winter storm. Uh, Teresa Wooder joins us now live and Teresa, can you sort of walk us through what, what's going on? Yeah, it's pretty complicated, Chris. You know that there are hundreds of power plants all across the state of Texas. And for some reason, over the course of the last few days, several power plants all over the place went offline. What does it mean when a power plant is offline? Well, it means something's broken and they're not able to generate electricity. ERCOT says right now the number of power plants offline is actually three to four times higher than what they would normally expect for this time of year. Now, as that was happening, we had another issue. Temperatures started going way high, so we were all cranking the AC. So demand was going up, generation was down, and the result, we were all asked to conserve energy to try to avoid those power outages like we experienced back in February. I know everybody wants to know why. Why did these power plants go offline? Well, this is going to be a troubling answer for a lot of Texans because ERCOT doesn't know right now. They're hoping to get an answer in the next few days, but they're telling us all that we need to be prepared to conserve through at least Friday with the hope that generation rebounds between now and then. All right, didn't we just have a legislative session where fixing the power grid was supposed to be a priority item and at the top of the list? Well, we did, and this is the governor signing some bills into law in the last few days. Here's the thing. Anything that they have done in Austin has not really had time to take effect yet. Yes, power plants do have to upgrade, but there's no deadline for when those upgrades have to happen. Bottom line for all Texans, we just need to conserve where we can right now. If you're comfortable, turn the AC to maybe 78, 80 degrees, turn off your pool pump, try not to run those big appliances in the heat of the day like your washer and your dryer. Every little bit you do can help.